the correct way of saying this. Um, it's this next video is not a part two of Gundam kits because to tell you the truth, I don't have that much Gundam kits. In reality, I have other kits, non Gundam kits, basically hobby kits. Uh, I've been a hobbyist for a very long time, close to maybe 20 years, you could say. And on other than Gundam models, I also build standard hobby kits. You know, tanks, planes, ships, or whatever that catches my eye. And I've amassed uh, quite a number of kits here that I like to build. Some of them I, I'll probably put on video, but usually they take a long time to build. So let me show you what I got. We'll begin with the 172nd scale tank series or uh, armored series. I have this Airfix uh, Opal Blitz vehicle with a Pac-40 gun. That's a cheap kit. I have Academy's 172nd scale M1126 Striker series. Uh, it's a striker vehicle, the new uh, armored personnel carrier that the uh, United States Armed Forces use. Military channel shows a lot of video on the uh, making of the striker. I have Italier's um, Aus 3, uh, Stug 3 Aus G tank. I always did like this tank because I used to play a game called Battlefield 1942, and one of the expansion packs allowed you to, uh, you know drive that tank. Uh, I have this 172nd scale Challenger 2. This is the Korean Army's um, main battle tank. Looks pretty nice. I think that covers all my armor. But still falling in the line of 172nd scale. Let's put, put this all on the side a second. I have this uh, Fairy Swordfish Mark th uh, 1 3, 170 second scale. This is the actual um, biplane that fired a few torpedoes at the uh, German battle cruiser or battleship Bismarck. Well, actually didn't destroy it, but very much, you know, knocked the rudder off and allowed British ships to sink it. That's the only 172nd scale aircraft that I have. At 144th scale, basically the same scale at, as the uh, high grade kits, I have this kit from DML, this uh, Blast Off series, an F 18A on a, air, on a carrier deck. The fighter is very small, about maybe this big almost the same length and you know scale as a as a mobile suit one a high grade mobile suit but this one comes with a diorama setup where you can set up a uh, you know carrier deck carrier deck scene with you know the vehicles and the and the personnel on the flight deck and of course the aircraft itself that i got at a, at a hobby show a while back pretty nice i can't wait to build that one all right, so next thing I'm going to move on is to larger scale, 148 scale. I have this 148 scale P38 Lightning from Ravel. This is a nice kit. I always did like the P38s. It's pretty big. It's bigger for this. Ravel makes excellent kits. I've been buying Ravel kits for quite a very, very long time. Uh, still in Ravel, I picked up this kit as well. An uh, F18E. Super Hornet, 148 scale. Now, I've been interested in getting a 148 scale for a very long time. But I also wanted to get the uh, 132nd scale, but getting a 132nd scale F-14, that's a beast. That, that That's a large kit. And uh, I don't have that much real estate here in my room to uh, put it away, you could say. So... Maybe in the future when I get a little bit older and I have more room, I'll probably pick up that kit. Alright, uh, so that ends the fighter series at 148. Next up, we're going to go into naval ships. I have a 1-700 scale USS Mount Whitney LCC-20. 
This is actually a command ship um, from Trumpeter. Trumpeter makes a lot of excellent naval ships, including their huge 350th scale ships. Uh, that is also a kit I would like to get in, in the near future. Uh, moving on to 350th scale, I have this German U-boat Type 7B from AFV Club. I got this at $20, and the reason why I picked it up is because it was a 350th scale. They're pretty big, very good detail. This one comes with photo etch parts. I always wanted to try that. And another reason why I picked it up is because I wanted to keep it in the same scale as this kit, which is the Tamiya's DD445 Fletcher at 350th scale. This is a big kit as well. It's probably about maybe yay long. You think it's small. To tell you the truth, if I would have gotten the 1700 scale version of it, the, the ship would have been this big. But for this scale, it's not bad. Furthermore, I was also able to get my hands on Tom's Model Works 350th scale Fletcher detail set, photo etch parts, so I can put all the railings and, and, and antennas and whatnot. So I have that for this kit to complement it. Now, moving on to sci fi kits, I have this Armored Core Crest CR. C90U3. I picked this kit up at on eBay. This kit is like maybe three years old. It's in my it's been in my in my uh, storage for quite some time. I should build it. I don't know. It's like lately I've been I, I have this kit and I'm saying should I build it or should I sell it and just get my money back and use it for some other things. Uh, including this kit, I also have this Armored Core Weapons Unit number 012, which is basically a, some weapon attachment. This one has a, uh, a over-the-shoulder bazooka type thing and weapons mount of some sort. Now, last two pieces I have. I picked this up at the hobby show this year. This is a, an anti-missile cruiser from the Comet Empire from the anime series Space Cruiser Yamato. Or for those who are here in the United States, Star Blazers. This is a big kit for this scale and I got it at a good price. I also got this kit, which of course everybody, uh, this is one of my favorites. The USS, the um, Space Cruiser Yamato. Or in the United States, also known as the Argo. This is one 700 scale, and I'm I'm glad that I got it because one day I would like to buy the one 700 version of the Yamato um, battleship from the Imperial Japanese Navy, and then put them side by side as comparison. This one, uh, uh, there's a great video on YouTube of a guy professionally making the one 500 version of it, which is very big. You know, I think a lot bigger than. I think maybe about 20 inches long. I don't know the exact length, but it's a great kit. And uh, I, I said, you know what? I'm I'm content having this kit. So I have roughly what? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen plastic models for me to build. Holy shit again. <laughs> I gotta really stop buying kits. Anyway, this is what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos to come at the New York Animation Show. Hopefully I got the kits that I want. You guys take care, alright? Oh, that's right. Uh, if anybody is planning to go, let me know. Maybe we'll hook up down there, okay? If anybody here in New York or in the tri-state area is planning to attend the show, let me know. Take care, guys. Bye.